have in front of me an 80 watt LED street light. Um, it comes with a 60 millimeter rear entry point here. It has a NEMA connection on top. So that's basically the little light detector we see beside us here. Uh, it throws out a white LED light. It's extremely energy efficient. It's a high end industrial product and it comes with free delivery directly from freetv.ie. So you can simply order it and have it next day. So let's just come along and see exactly what we have here. Um, so we have, see we have the bank of our white LED lights here. Um, when we go to actually uh, wire this up, we have just over a meter of cabling here. So uh, what we would typically be doing if we're mounting this is we'd be putting it onto a street light pole and we'd probably have it on an offset bracket. And a reasonably typical bracket that we might mount it on would be something like this. This sits directly onto a 76 millimeter street pole and just comes directly over and we'll see it has a, a, a 60 millimeter input here. It'll slide directly through, although of course we'd normally run the electrical cable directly through this out to the out point here. So you can see why the cable is quite long it's allowed that to be threaded through. Now the actual input on this, instead of being 60 millimeter like it says, is actually with 66 millimeters. The idea being you would loosen, use an Allen key, loosen off these scrubber screws, push the bracket directly in, lock it into position, uh, and then tighten it, and tighten it right in. Um, so that's exactly how that element would work. So we can imagine we could mount it quite easily in that manner. You'd be used in typical applications, would be in roadways, car parks, things like that. Now if we came along and we just turn this unit over, we'll see on top that we have our NEMA connection here. So we'll see the actual NEMA connection there. And what this is, our little photo, photo um, switch is here. So what will happen is we just in the, push this in, and what we'll do is we can lock it, and there's an orderly direction pointed there. So you want to have that pointed in an orderly direction. And it's pre-built in, we'll say, in terms of what, uh, what uh, lo our lux level will kick in in terms of turning the lights on and uh, what light level will cut back out of it as well. So this light doesn't have to switch independently. Um, in terms of a manual override, it just does it directly from the little uh, light thing itself. So it's quite impressive. Um, obviously, there's a big change happening in terms of energy efficiency and things like that. So it's a huge advantage, I suppose, threefold really of LED lights over what went before in terms of the older lights. And the first thing is that it's, it's far more energy efficient, so it's probably about 80% um, more energy efficient. Second thing is the maintenance cost is much uh, uh, lower. So if you took something like this, if we talked about uh, the looms that'll come off, and we're talking about 7,200, um, if we look at um, the lifetime of it, we're probably talking 30 to 40,000 hours. So everything comes with at least a two year warranty, but something like this, you're probably looking at maybe about 10 years before you can expect to do any type of maintenance on it uh, either. So there's money in the savings, uh, money in the maintenance, and then also it gives out a white light, which is often far more preferable than the old yellow lights that were the standard in the industry. And of course, it turns on instantaneously, so when you hit the light, it just turns on automatically. So it's very, very uh, uh, attractive here, and there's a lot of move towards the move towards uh, lights such as this 80 watt LED street light with 6mm um, rear entry and a NEMA connection on top.